Hello, buddy. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to be taking on the fourth and final shrine in the starting area, Great Sky Island. I can't remember the name. We'll have it in the video once we get up there. But either way, we're going to come up to the back corner here. I'm going to Im include getting there just because if you don't know the timing for getting across these cogs here, it can be a little bit annoying. Some people might want that, so I think we will include it. I'm going to stand here, and you're going to want to have your recall ready. And we're going to activate it just as it gets to Link's head, and then we're going to jump on top. We're going to do that. Rewind. Get a jump on there, and that should allow us to meet up with this almost perfectly, allowing us to get across the cogs nice and easy. And we can jump off the other side. Now that we can actually go ahead and get into the proper shrine... Okay, so here we are, pressed forward into the Nakoya Shrine. Nakoya Shrine. Uh, basically, this is just an exercise in showing you how powerful this re recall ability is. So in a second, we're going to see that raft come under there. Once it gets level with us, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to rewind this. That's going to allow us to reach that next platform there. Let me just a little bit closer. As soon as that's ready, let's get a jump across. Really doesn't want to go slow for us. And if we're quick, we should be able to get on there by the look of it. So we're just going to do the second one straight away. Will, in fact, take us up the waterfall, which I honestly find amazing. It's going to completely change how we have to think about our puzzles. Let that cool down now. We have one piece of loot here, which probably isn't worth it. But I'm going to show it anyway, just because otherwise your shrine is going to show as incomplete. So it'll still have the orange bit in the middle. So here we have ten arrows. With that done, we can jump back down. Turn the uh, reversal of time off for now. And with this, what we want to do is we want to use the recall ability when the two clock hands are level with each other. That's going to allow us to go on in and finish the shrine. 